Hello, it's Father Samuel Hakim with a word of hope for Saturday in the 34th and final week in Ordinary Time. In fact, today is the final day of the liturgical year. Tomorrow, with the first Sunday of Advent, we flip over the liturgical calendar and begin a new cycle. And in this final week, as I said yesterday on Word of Hope, we've been focusing on the, the end times, the second coming of Christ. But for today, for this A Word of Hope video, I'd like to focus on the opening prayer for this week's Masses. We pray as we open Mass, Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. So we ask in this prayer that God may stir up our will, stir up the will of your faithful, to, to move our, our desire, to move our, our wanting to, to do something. Well, to do what? To strive more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion. So we ask that the Lord might stir up our will so that we might bring about the, the kingdom of God, the thing that we've been focusing on in this final week of the liturgical year. We bring this about, of course, by doing good works, by putting into action the grace of God that we receive through the sacraments, through our life of faith in the church. But here's where it gets a little interesting, this opening prayer. Well, why do we want to do this? That they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows stir up our wills, that we might bring the divine work of God to fruitful completion, that we may receive in greater measure the healing remedies that the kindness of the Lord bestows. Usually when we think of healing remedies in our faith, we, we go to the sacrament of confession, right? This moment of reconciliation. Yes, I've sinned. I know I've sinned. I know I need God's grace, and, and I hope to be restored to that perfect relationship with God. And the sacrament of reconciliation is essential to our Catholic faith. But this prayer invites us to focus on the way that we receive and experience God's healing remedies through our action of bringing to fruitful completion the work of God, in maybe simpler terms, in participation in God's goodness here on this earth. It's really fascinating, really beautiful theological take, as often is the case with our opening prayers, prayers which we might kind of just hear and move on into the rest of Mass. But what a profound idea that in participating in God's grace, in, in putting to action the grace that we ourselves receive, well, we experience God's healing remedy. The theological point in this is, is, is this exact point, that despite how often we might mess up, despite the things that we have done wrong in our life, we're still called to preach the gospel. We're still called to make known the kingdom of God here on earth and point to it as we anticipate its fullness at the second coming of Christ. What a beautiful blessing that we have been given. What a beautiful way to experience God's healing remedies in, in action, and not just in this mode of passive reception. Happy Advent to you as we begin this new season tomorrow. And as we do, may we truly put to work in our lives the grace of God we have received and in doing so, experience his healing remedies. God bless you.